Hey guys, Dr. Isabella Wentz here. I always wanted to do one of these fun paper things um, to spread the word about thyroid disease because um, the reason why I created the thyroid secret is because it shouldn't be a secret that you can recover from thyroid disease and that there are things in our environment that trigger thyroid disease and that once we get rid of our triggers, we can recover our health. So I hope that you share this to your timeline to let the world know that thyroid disease Thyroid symptoms, thyroid disease, these do not have to be permanent. So we can recover our health, we could prevent thyroid disease, and we could certainly feel better. Um, really, really excited that you're here. Um, would love for you to say hello if you're watching. Let me know where you're from. So um, Andrea is here. Hello, nice to see you again. Alexis, how are you doing? It's nice to see you. Um, Emil, um, let's see here. She mentioned that supplements are more easily absorbable because they're broken down. Um, let's see here. It, and she was wondering about eating cereal. So cereal is one of those things that's a processed food and I wouldn't recommend necessarily eating it because it can be inflammatory to the body. So there's various different foods and things that are inflammatory to the body and cereal is going to be one of them. I'm really, really excited that you're here with me. I hope that you've been watching the Thyroid Secret series. Um, the series has been online starting on March 1st. We've had over 500,000 people sign up to watch the series, and I couldn't be happier. Um, today's episode that just came out um, about two hours, two and a half hours ago, is focused on gut health and chronic infections like Epstein-Barr virus that can trigger thyroid disease. I want to dive deep into this subject because it's such an important subject that's oftentimes overlooked, not just by conventional medicine, but even holistic medicine practitioners, functional medicine practitioners, oftentimes do not address these important root causes. So let's see, who do we have here tonight? We have Jesse from Phoenix. Nice to see you, Jesse. Terry wants to know my opinion on Nature Throid. Nature Throid can be very helpful for a lot of people. Um, people usually do better on it than they do on synthetic thyroid hormones that just contain T4. Um, we have Melanie from Ohio. Hello, Me Melanie. Chris from Australia. Hello. We have Carolyn from South Jersey. Off to, off. Exciting to see you here. Um, Marilyn wants to know if there's a test for Epstein-Barr virus. Yes, we're going to get into that during this um, during this Q&A session and, and the kind of recap of episode eight of The Thyroid Secret. So um, currently we're playing episode eight. If you haven't registered yet, <laughs> um, you can register by going to tinyurl.com, T-T-S-E-8. And this is written in the description of this Facebook Live um, episode. So um, let's see, Kimberly from Tennessee, hello. Um, Victoria says, good to see you again. Nice to see you too. Kimberly says, I have Epstein-Barr virus. Yes, um, Epstein-Barr virus can be a potential trigger for thyroid disease. This is something that is um, covered in, in the thyroid secret in both of my books, Hashimoto's The Root Cause, as well as Hashimoto's Protocol. So um, I've been trying to spread awareness about this infection as well as other infections that you may have in your body. You may not know about these infections because they're chronic, low-grade infections that are um, undetectable unless you do some advanced testing. And unfortunately, a lot of these infections, um, conventional medicine doctors will even say, well, you have Epstein-Barr virus, sure you have it, but there's nothing that can be done about it. And this is not the truth either. So there are protocols you can utilize to suppress the virus in your body and potentially even um, there's one particular expert within the series in episode eight that has had some really great results with, um, um, according to the research that she's done with potentially even having it leave the body. So this is something that's groundbreaking and phenomenal information. And I really hope you check in today's episode if you haven't yet. Um, Deb Talks asks about um, what minerals, there's many talked about, I'm confused about what to take first. So um, selenium is one of those really great minerals for most people with thyroid disease, and that's where I would start. Um, if you were looking to just take one thing, um, selenium can be a really, really big game changer for people. And as you kind of go through, um, I encourage you to 
um, to get the Thyroid Secret series and go through it and kind of see what resonates for you and start implementing these changes step by step. You know, just take one little step in the right direction. You don't have to do everything at once. Ontario, Canada, Shauna said, Live this, love this episode. Um, who knew? Brooke said, could you please share success stories of people who have had candida and went into remission? Um, Brooke, so we have had um, success stories of people with various infections. So we have had candida um, infections, or over, I should say overgrowth. We've had people with small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, people with H. pylori, which is a um, bacteria that infects the gut, typically associated with ulcers, and then people with blastocystis hominis, which is a protozoan parasite that affects the gut. Um, once we address those infections and we eradicated them, what we typically see is that symptoms reduce. Um, we typically see thyroid antibodies reduce, in some cases go away completely. And then we also see in some cases that the person may be able to have a reduction in their TSH, reduction in their need for thyroid hormones, and we've also seen some cases of people who have been able to completely come off of thyroid hormones once we address these chronic infections. Um, the way that infections can trigger thyroid disease is through a mechanism known as molecular mimicry. So molecular mimicry is one of these scientific theories for autoimmune disease, and it basically says that if there's an infection or any toxin or any substance that the body recognizes as a foreign substance, now this could be an infection, this could be a toxin, this could even be um, breast implants, um, so various kinds of dental implants as well, um, they are recognized by the body as foreign invaders. The immune system at that point launches an attack against this um, potential threat, and at the same time, as it launches an attack against this threat, if there's protein sequences similar looking on the infection or pathogen or um, toxin or whatnot, similar to the protein stru uh, structures on the thyroid gland, then both the thyroid gland and the pathogen will be attacked at the same time. And so this is a case of mistaken identity. So this is one way that this happens. And this is oftentimes in infections throughout the body. This could be something like Lyme disease, um, the infection caused by Borrelia bacteria. This actually has 16 different proteins that look identical to the proteins that are found on the thyroid gland. Um, there's another bacteria known as Yersinia. This one has 19 different proteins that are identical to um, the thyroid gland that they are on this bacteria. And the other way that infections can trigger thyroid disease is by causing leaky gut or, or intestinal permeability. Now these are going to be things like candida. These are going to be things like yeast infections, potentially mold within the body, um, parasites like blastocystis hominis and the H. pylori bacteria. Um, the, we, we don't exactly know which particular mechanism they, they use, but they could be using either of those mechanisms. And now another way that infections can trigger thyroid disease is by getting into the thyroid gland. So these are viral infections like the Epstein-Barr virus. Um, a Polish study found that a significant percentage of people with Graves and Hashimoto's actually have the active replicating Epstein-Barr virus within their thyroid gland. And when this infection is within the thyroid gland, that causes our bodies to try to kill off the infection and whatever home the infection lives in. This is known as the bystander effect. And this is um, basically, again, it, it's like we're try the immune system is trying to kill the infection and just happens to blow up the home, which happens to be the thyroid gland in, in this case. Now, um, Epstein-Barr virus infection, for example, is common. So just about all of us have had it. 95% of us have had this infection. Some of the reasons why a person may be more susceptible to having this infection could be genetics. Um, it could be because we, um, if we get this at an older age, um, for example, high school or college age, there's a good potential that we're going to have a bigger problem with it. Um, suppressing the Epstein-Barr virus is dependent on vitamin D. And um, when we ha don't have enough vitamin D in our system, that can actually cause the virus to act up. Um, there's also different types of immune cells that decrease with age if we are trying to, um, that decrease with age 
that fight this type of infection. And so um, really an important thing to do is to, if you're working with a functional medicine practitioner, is to test for these infections. And there's advanced testing that you could do that may be missed by conventional medicine. The Epstein-Barr virus test is actually one you could do with your doctor. And you would do the early antigen test. This is a blood test that you would do to see if the Epstein-Barr virus is activated. Now there are different things we can do to suppress the virus so it is no longer replicating and it's no longer setting off the immune system. And those are gonna be covered in episode eight and really all of the strategies that we talk about through from episode one through nine cover how to support your immune system and support your body, make it more resilient so that these infections that we have in, um, these chronic low grade infections that could be triggering thyroid disease that we can suppress them and that we can prevent getting new infections. So this is, this is one of the world's best kept secrets, um, I think about thyroid disease is that infections can trigger it and um, so can gut issues. So I really hope that you guys are um, tuning into today's episode because this is a very, very important topic. If you're watching, if I could ask you to please share this on your timeline because the gut and Epstein-Barr virus and chronic infection connection between that and the thyroid gland can be life-changing. So we've seen people who have gotten into complete remission. Once we find out what their infection is and once we eradicate that, and th this is, can be life-saving, um, not just helps with thyroid disease, but prevents having autoimmune disorders later on in life and prevents even potentially cancers and other kinds of imbalances that can occur in the body. So um, this is something that's gonna be very, very important to, um, to, for you to address. I'm gonna see if you, guys, if you guys could chat in your questions here, I'd love to answer them. Um, That will, um, let's see here, go ahead and if you could share this to your timeline and I, I see the questions are loading here and if you can, um, looks like I can't be moving up and down so if you guys have some questions if you could go ahead and repeat them that would be really really helpful for me that way I'll be able to see them. All right so um, Stacy says I find gluten free so hard. I know gluten-free can be very, very hard, and it is something that um, you can get used to. So I know it does take some time, but once um, you know, once you're doing it for a few weeks, actually a few months, usually you can get into the habit of of going gluten-free. And um, this is this is going to be something that becomes second nature, and it just becomes really easy for you to do. Thanks for asking that question. I know. Um, many of us have been able to do that without a problem. And I, I know that it, it, it's hard. All right, so um, let me see here. Pamela want to know, wants to know mononucleosis, is that the same thing? Yes, so mononucleosis is... Um, another name for Epstein-Barr virus, it's also another, another name is called um, yuppie fever um, and then glandular fever is another thing that it's called in the UK. Now um, I know a lot of you guys may have had an instance where you felt really good in your life and then all of a sudden maybe you had food poisoning and then you were never quite the same. Or maybe you were on a trip somewhere and you had a bout of diarrhea or traveler's diarrhea and you were never quite the same. So that would be an indication that perhaps your thyroid condition was triggered by a infection of the gut. Um, a lot of times it could be a parasitic infection. We don't think that this, these are common in our Western world, but they are. Actually, about 80% of my clients with Hashimoto's who don't get better with just nutrition have some sort of a gut infection. Um, the other thing to look out for in your health timeline is if you've had a um, time in your life where you got really sick and maybe you had a viral infection and then you never quite recovered after that. I know um, mono can present in college like that or in early adulthood and when you just, you know, you had a sore throat, you were really exhausted, you were kind of out for the count and then you never quite got better. That could be a sign that you have a in chronic viral infection like Epstein-Barr virus in your body that's triggering your condition. So this is something 
this is something that's very, very important to know. Um, let's see here. Questions here. Somebody said, um, share what this live or the episode. If you could share the thyroid secret episode as well as if you could share this live Q&A session for episode eight, that would be greatly appreciated because that would help us get the word out about the thyroid secret. So um, if anybody hasn't watched episode eight, I have a link for it here in the description of the episode. Um, and really, I hope that you guys check, check out this episode. It's, I believe it's, one of the, it's the most important episode in the whole series. Great question, you guys. Thanks for submitting your questions about. Um, wow, so many great questions. Is selenium at 200 micrograms safe? Um, generally, it's going to be a really safe dosage, 200 to 400 micrograms, no more than 600 micrograms. Um, that's going to be safe for most people with thyroid disease, and you don't want to go higher than that. Um, and if you have happen to have an adverse reaction, so you might be more nervous or have anxiety, that would be a sign that you might actually be iodine deficient because those two nutrients go hand in hand. Um, let's see here. Miranda says, docs say have an issue with over-fermenting in gut and now FODMAP diet, but I find it pretty restrictive, your thoughts. Um, so the good news about FODMAP diet, it can be very, very helpful, and it's not something that you need to use long term. I also recommend that you utilize it along with protocols that address small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Um, I have some of these protocols. They're herbal protocols and medication protocols. You can choose either or. In Hashimoto's protocol, so this is um, my book that's coming out on March 28th, where I've listed out some of the protocols that you can do. Um, we are giving away this copy of this book to everybody that orders the gold package of the thyroid secret. I do have the link for you guys in this um, episode description here. Um, the thing with the small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, some of the things to keep in mind are things you could do supportively in your home. Drinking mint tea can be very, very helpful. Mint does suppress um, some of the SIBO, and then you also want to work with somebody that can prescribe herbs or medications for you. Alrighty. Um, Lynn says, what's a good place to order supplements? Um, someone said Pure. Pure Encapsulations is one of the companies that I've had really, really good results with, so as a pharmacist I was very skeptical of various types of supplements and I, um, you know, some of them are just not safe. They might contain heavy metals. Some of them don't have what they say they do. And then some of the ingredients might be potentially inflammatory. So I did a lot of research. And about five years ago, I stumbled across, um, six years ago, Pure Encapsulations. And I started using their products in 2011. These products helped me regain my health. Um, one of them in particular, Betaine with Pepsin, which we discussed in episode eight today, um, help me go from sleeping like 12 hours a night to waking up after seven or eight hours bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Um, I do have on, if you go to thyroidpharmacist.com, if you go under supplements, I share some of the most helpful supplements from Pure Encapsulations on there. You'll be able to find that information on there. Um, Alexis, let's see here, Heather wants to know, Sorry, you guys, these comments are going way too fast and they're disappearing. Um, are there supplements for, um, are there side effects to detoxing cilantro? Um, so potentially there, you want to look at um, making sure that you're doing things to adsorb your, um, your detox so that you're doing plenty of fiber. We discussed that in episode four in the toxins episode. Iodine makes me want to pass out in vitamin form of, or eating seaweeds. Should this be hyperthyroid? Um, I actually, Matt, I don't recommend iodine or seaweed for people with thyroid disease. So we discussed this in episode four of The Thyroid Secret. And if you haven't watched episode four, um, I highly suggest that you, um, you go ahead and buy the, the package of The Thyroid Secret because we discuss all these things that can be potentially harmful. And one of them is actually iodine. So high doses of iodine, um, anything above you would find in a multivitamin can be potentially problematic. And seaweed actually has high doses of iodine in them. Um, somebody was asking about the, the rates of autism in Hashimoto's. 
So there's a study that shows 80% increase in autism in moms who have Hashimoto's antibodies. So if you're thinking about fertility and pregnancy, I highly encourage you um, to make sure that you address the root causes of your thyroid condition and try to get those thyroid antibodies down as well as optimize your thyroid hormones. Um, let's see. Is it true that if somebody has their thyroid removed that their body still thinks that they have it? So here's, Annalise, here's the thing about getting your thyroid removed. So once you get your thyroid removed, you're, you're no longer going to be able to produce internal thyroid hormone. And um, here's another thing. A lot of times people will recommend getting the thyroid removed if, if you have an overactive thyroid, sometimes if you have nodules, sometimes hypo, hypothyroidism, sometimes thyroid cancer. Here's the problem, though. Um, a lot of times... You know, we talked about all these potential triggers that are in our bodies, and a lot of times these triggers could be causing us to attack the thyroid gland. Now, the thyroid gland is probably um, our most sensitive organ. It concentrates things, and so it's sort of the canary of the coal mine. And mo for most people, thyroid disease is the first type of immune system imbalance. The thyroid gland kind of lets us know that something is out of balance with our bodies. And a lot of times people will have their thyroid gland removed and then they'll go on to have additional autoimmune conditions. So I don't recommend thyroid gland removal for that purpose or for, for that reason, is I recommend figuring out what's causing your thyroid to be out of balance in the first place, right? Why is your thyroid under attack? Why are there nodules in it? Why are there tumors inside of it? And it usually has to do with something, some trigger within your body, like a toxin, like an infection, like something within your gut. Um, let's see here. Lisa says, Brazil nuts are packed with selenium. Would this be a good source? And if so, how much? Um, so Brazil nuts, and I don't, I'm a big fan of using food as medicine, but Brazil nuts, um, we don't really know how much selenium they have in them. And the other thing, too, is selenium can be toxic once you get above 800 micrograms. Selenium is a Goldilocks nutrient, and doses of under 200 have not been found to be helpful for thyroid disease. Doses above 800 micrograms can be harmful. So we want to be in that sweet spot between 200 micrograms and um, 400 micrograms for most people. And the best way to do that is with a supplement and a high quality supplement like the pure encapsulation selenium methionine because this kind of gets you into a sweet spot of where you need to be. Now, I want to make sure that you guys um, understand that because when you take selenium from Brazil nuts, I don't have anything against it except for you could be underdosing or overdosing yourself and just not making things effective. Um, in my clients, I have studied them where we switched them from the Brazil nuts. So they were eating two Brazil nuts a day because somebody said that was a good dose. And you don't really know um, how much selenium is in a Brazil nut because, um, you know, it could be, it could be four, 500 micrograms or it could be 20 micrograms. You don't know. Um, and so people, I've tested them for antibodies before and after starting selenium, so people who were traditionally eating Brazil nuts, and we saw a big improvement when we put them on supplements that had the measured dose of selenium. So we saw an improvement in thyroid antibodies, and we also saw an improvement in symptoms. Darlene wants to know if is Standard Process an okay company? Um, I love Standard Process. They have some great supplements. Um, I use Thytrophin PMG can be very, very helpful for people with thyroid conditions. Um, I cover its use in my book, The Root Cause. Um, some people have found it to be beneficial for them if they not, cannot tolerate thyroid hormones. Um, I know in, if you guys get the gold package, we have some of the advanced kind of strategies and the full interviews that you can get. And um, Fabienne Haymans is, is a, a thyroid patient and advocate who actually really benefited from using Thytrophin PMG, which is made by Standard Process. Now, um, I love all of their supplements, except for not all of them are certified gluten-free. Um, so I'm always cautious with recommending them because some of their supplements actually contain wheat germ and some of their supplements actually contain um, dairy. And I recommend 100% gluten-free and dairy-free supplements um, and um, a lot of their supplements are, so I know they're moving towards that, but just, just be wary that, you know, with a line like Pure Encapsulations, you can be assured that majority of the supplement, all the supplements are going to be gluten-free, and then majority of them are also going to be gluten-free and soy-free, um, and same with Designs for Health. 
um, with companies, except for maybe the probiotics, because those oftentimes are going to have dairy. But with um, standard process, there may be some products that have gluten. So it's always prudent to make sure before you buy any supplement is that you check out the package and make sure that it does say gluten-free and it doesn't have any ingredients like wheat germ, because that could really sabotage your healing if you have, um, you know, if you're trying to go gluten-free and then you have gluten in your supplements. Like even those tiny doses could sabotage your healing. Um, actually, lactose in some supplements can actually sabotage your healing too. Um, so even um, there have been some studies that have found that lactose restriction um, helped people absorb thyroid hormones. And so making sure that your supplements are free of fillers is going to be really, really important. Rita wants to know, how can you purchase the package? So if you go to um, the description of this episode, um, if you go to tinyurl.com, TTS Gold, this will give you a few of the options of the packages that we have available. So we have, um, I'll sh actually I'll, I can unbox the package for you. Um, so let me lift this thing here. It's quite heavy box. I actually just got it in the mail for those of you guys that ordered within the, um, the initial like sneak peek. We're just starting to send out those packages today. And so the gold package contains um, these DVDs. These are the DVDs of every single interview that we recorded. So we have, um, let me show you here, these beautiful DVDs that we designed. Um, we have a total of 10, hi, you see this, this is kind of backwards, so I'm a little bit awkward waving this around. Ten. DVDs here for the series. Then we have um, another set of 10. So this is the second part. And then another six more. And so these are, this is like every single interview with over 100 experts, my interviews in there, as well as with the 66, uh, 67 patients who have had various levels of success with thyroid disease, um, some of them complete remission. Um, and they share how they did it and their best practices. And then the thyroid secret package, the gold package, also comes with this wonderful DVD set. Um, and this has every single episode that we did. So all nine episodes, over 13 hours of episodes are in here. Let me open that up. These are quite beautiful. I'm very proud of how they turned out. You can watch this on your big screen. You can invite friends over and have um, thyroid secret parties. Um, you know, a really great way to share this with your family is by putting it in the big screen. And then we have the gold package also comes with, both actually the gold package and the silver packages come with transcript of the entire nine episodes. So this gives you all of the, like word by word, what everybody said, so you can read along the transcripts and um, go through the DVDs as you watch and kind of highlight and, and you know kind of study and go back to it. Be a good student. And this is heavy. I actually had to have my husband carry this box up here because you know I, I need to get back to the gym after the thyroid secret. But this is the thyroid secret transcript like encyclopedia. So this is over a thousand pages long and contains every single transcript, professionally transcripted and corrected. So you've got all the supplement names, everybody's names in there. Um, every single person, expert, um, that was interviewed within the Thyroid Secret is going to be found in this giant big old book here. So um, the Thyroid Secret packages, so we have the gold package, which is all this, um, you know, amazing transcripts. This is such a great workout for me. And the DVDs. Um, this is the gold package. You could get this as a physical option that's mailed to your home or as a digital option that you could download. As a special bonus, anybody in the U.S. who buys this will also get a copy of my brand new book, Hashimoto's Protocol, which is coming out on March 28th. I just got word that we might actually run out, but we have enough for people that order um, the Thyroid Secret Gold Package. Um, the other thing, too, is this is available in digital format where you can just access it online or you can get the packages shipped to your house. If you do get the packages shipped to your house, it'll take, um, take us a few weeks to get it to you, and in the meantime, we'll send you digital access. Now, um, so this is one of the options. This is the gold package. If you go to tinyurl.com slash TTSgold, 
you'll be able to click, um, you can see all the options and I have a link here in the description of this episode. Now, we also have the silver package. Now the silver package, this is what it comes with. You get the entire DVD set and so you get, um, you get the entire, all of the nine episodes and you also get the lovely transcript ebook. And so this is what comes with the silver package. And this is a more economical package for people that just kind of want the nitty gritty and like what do I do now and want the information on how to get started. This is an, also an amazing deal because it's less than $5 an it's around $5 an episode and everything is professionally transcribed. And again, we have an option for you to do this with um, digital access or get it sent to your home as a um, physical access. I really like the DVDs. I'm very proud of how um, how they came out. They're quite beautiful, and then you know you can watch them on your big screen with your family and get um, get them on board. Because I think a part of really important part of healing is making sure that your family is on board. So um, you guys are sending me great questions. Thanks for the question about the um, thyroid secret package. Um, one thing I should mention is that we are offering the package at a discount, so 50% discount, till um, March 10th at midnight. So if you do want to get the package, I would encourage you to do so right away. And we also have a 90-day money-back guarantee so that you can just um, you know, see if you like it and then you can return it if you don't like it. Um, see if it's if it's not right for you. Um, you know, we have we're not asking any questions. We're like, hey, no problem. Um, we I actually think you'll love it, and the information is going to be life saving. And we did um, our team did such a fabulous job of laying it all out, so it's easy to use. And the experts, um, you know, didn't hold back. None of the patients held back. I didn't hold back. So we've got um, fantastic resource for you that I think will really help you on your journey. And it's something that you can reference time and time again. Um, as you, you know, as as you go on, um, so that you can you you can take over your health, and, and you're also welcome to share it with with your friends and family. So um, when it no longer is online for free, because we're only having this online for the next um, for the next wow two days. Time flies when you're having fun. So um, let's see here. Questions: Can Candida Alexis wants to know cause really low ferritin levels? Potentially. Um, another thing is going to be SIBO. Um, Elisha wants to know, soy is the devil to my body, even organic soy. Elisha, absolutely. I found about um, up to 80% of people with thyroid disease are going to have problems with soy. And so the key is not to eat processed foods. That makes life a lot easier. Um, and some of the symptoms we see are going to be anxiety and increase in thyroid antibodies. So you're very wise to stay off of soy. Um, let's see here. Melissa wants to know, am I still able to watch it? Um, so we have episode um, eight that's airing right now. Jenny says, I still have Epstein Barr virus. Um, from the episode, it sounded like you couldn't remove it from your body using supplements. Is that correct? So Jenny, um, I know from, from personal experience and I know from um, you know, various kind of healthcare professionals that you can, and studies and research studies that you can suppress its replication. So that's what's in the research right now, and that's we have proof of that. Um, there's also some research that suggests you can eradicate it with your body with pharmaceutical products. You have to take them for a really, really long time. And then one of the nutritionists within our um, series, The Thyroid Secret, um, Terry Cochran, she has piloted a brand new protocol that um, she has found um, helps to remove it from the body. Now, this is brand new information. Um, there's no studies that show that it does that yet. Um, I have seen a quite a few of her success stories and we're sharing them in episode nine. So this is something that's innovative and really exciting um, that can potentially um, either remove it or suppress it to the point where it's no longer acting up. And again, um, I know that there's research that shows various interventions. So everything that I share in my book, Hashimoto's Protocol, and Hashimoto's thyroiditis is something that I've personally tested with research or I have references to medical journals. Um, some of the stuff in the thyroid secret is actually cutting edge. So um, for example, Terry's protocols are cutting edge and we actually don't have that published in the medical journals yet. But, um, but just clinically and from my observations, 
um, it, it's, it's creating amazing things where she's able to help people with mystery illnesses actually recover. And um, she wasn't part of my initial lineup for the thyroid secret, but um, I actually met her at a conference when I was speaking on Hashimoto's and we were discussing Epstein-Barr virus where I was sharing some of the protocols to suppress it. And at that point, um, she was still looking for an answer. And then I saw her um, about six months later and she said, hey, I found this answer. I'm doing some really innovative stuff. And so I was really, really excited to share her work and innovation with episode eight. So I hope that you guys um, check that out because, you know, this is the stuff that I'm sharing in the Thyroid Secret and in Hashimoto's Protocol. This is all cutting edge information that's not in in research, that's not in doctor's offices yet. Um, this is something that you guys, um, you know, I just, I'm really, really excited to be getting this information out there because I really want to change the way that thyroid disorders are treated. Um, today, I went to my P.O. box and I was really excited to discover, I got a whole bunch of letters from you guys that have watched The Thyroid Secret. And this was really, really touching to me. Um, I wasn't expecting anything like this. Um, I have one beautiful butterfly letter here, um, and um, this lovely person said, thank you so much for getting the thyroid secret to me. Um, her name is her name is Marie Antoinette, so thank you so much for, for being so thoughtful and writing me this little note. And I have another note here from Angie who says, thank you so much for the thyroid secret. Um, and Angie's a doctor, and she said, so many of my clients have been raving about the documentary, and this is going to improve so many lives. So thanks so much to hear that. i um, really pleased I got a tree dedicated to me, and I, if you guys couldn't tell by my, um, by my books, I love trees, and I love getting to the root cause. So this is from Linda. And I also got a letter from somebody who was really, really excited to share to watch the thyroid documentary series and she was asking about you know why don't more doctors know about this and so part of the mission of the thyroid secret is to get this information out there because you guys this is cutting edge information um, a lot of doctors do not know about this and the ones that do know um, you know they're still they have there's a high demand to see them so this is and they're they're not going to be cheap and so what you guys the thyroid secret is meant to empower you because a lot of these strategies you can do on your own. So of course, you know, you may not be able to prescribe yourself thyroid hormone medications, nor would I want you to, because that would be dangerous. You always want to have prescription from a doctor, but you also, um, through the thyroid secret, you can implement things in your own life and through Hashimoto's protocol that reduce your dependency on the medical system and that help educate you. So for example, you know, food sensitivities. This is something that you have 100% control of is choosing what foods you eat or not eat. And this is crucial to your recovery and how you feel. And same with getting plenty of rest and addressing your adrenal stress. So a lot of these strategies within the Thyroid Secret and my book Hashimoto's Protocol, which, um, you know, is available through the gold package, you guys can really, really take charge of your own health and reduce your need for um, having fancy doctors um, other than, of course, we want to do the things that um, doctors are supposed to do, like prescribe thyroid hormones, because you, you never want to do that on your own. So, um, let's see here. Uh, Elisha says, we got the premium silver package, so excited for you. I think you're going to find it really, really beneficial on your journey. Um, Lillian says, anyway, we can just buy the giant wonderful book. Yes, the giant wonderful Thyroid Encyclopedia. So that's available through the Thyroid Secret um, package, through the gold package um, as an option. We have a digital and a physical version of it. And whenever you buy either the digital or the physical version of the gold package, you also get my um, entire book called the Hashimoto's Protocol. Um, we don't have any any like thoughts about putting it out on its own at this time, but thank you for that suggestion. Just as a heads up, it takes takes a lot of hands and a lot of money and a lot of you know resources and time to put together these packages so this is something that um, my husband and I and our team and designers and you know videographers and editors and project managers and tech people and printers have been working on um, creating for you for the last six months so this is definitely a huge community project and um, I really appreciate everybody's support who chooses to own the thyroid secret and chooses to support our mission. Um, 
part of what we're doing too is we're also giving back. So we're also giving a uh, dollar for every package that's available that that's sold to um, support Down syndrome diagnosis network. So um, children and and you know individuals with Down syndrome oftentimes have thyroid disorders and they're ignored by their doctors in many cases because well if you have Down syndrome, you're supposed to be sluggish, you're supposed to be tired, you're supposed to be overweight. And so um, we decided this was a very worthy cause and I'm very excited to support them in, um, you know, in getting, spreading awareness about all of the options that are available for, um, for people with Down syndrome and their families. So um, let's see, I wanna get some of your questions here. I feel like it's exciting to be here. I'm, um, so excited to be at day eight of the thyroid secret and I feel like episode eight is where we shared kind of pulled back all the curtains and just really gave you the solid information as you know throughout the thyroid secret I was trying to introduce you guys to all of the concepts behind um, why we develop thyroid disease and give you an insight in some of the triggers and reversibility and I feel like episode eight these are the best kept secrets too um, Lonnie wants to know, can Hashimoto's cause you to pass out? Actually, it can. So this is a very, um, fainting is actually one of the signs of it. Not many people know this. Um, Jennifer wants to know, does PCOS affect your thyroid? So it can. Um, people with PCOS can have higher rates of thyroid disease than Hashimoto's. The common link seems to be estrogen dominance. We do cover that in the thyroid secrets, um, and... Magdalena Shalaki, who is one of the experts, um, you can get her full interview on estrogen dominance and some of the protocols she recommends for that. Um, so she recommends things like cruciferous vegetables and broccoli to help get rid of, and sprouts to help get rid of extra estrogen. Jerry says, thank you for the thyroid secret. Oh, thank you, it's my pleasure. It's um, an honor, you know, this helping people with thyroid disease has really become my life's work and my mission after after I got sick myself and I was, you know, like exhausted for 10 years and um, fatigued and really couldn't do anything with my life. And now, now I'm an author, a New York Times bestselling author, a documentary producer, and, you know, full time helping, dedicated to helping people recover their health. Um, and, you know, when I was in my 20s on my couch, too tired to do anything, like I never thought any of this would be possible. And the reason why I do this is because I want to see you guys to feel better and follow your dreams and do whatever it is you're capable of. Because, um, you know, I, I'll tell you, fatigue was my biggest symptom. And I felt like I was this ambitious person stuck in like a lazy person's body, right? Um, and a lot of times people will say that they feel like they're in a quicksand, that they feel like they're in a brain fog, or they feel like they're not they're wearing a, a bodysuit that's not their true selves. And I really feel like getting to recover from thyroid disease helps you find your true self and helps you be the person that you really wanna be in the world because once you shed the weight, once you shed the fatigue, you shed the anxiety, um, amazing things happen. It's like your true self is, has been up there all along and you can actually do the things you want in your life. And whether that's having children or whether that's, um, you know, like writing a book or going horseback riding or becoming a great bridge player. I've had so many fabulous stories from my clients and my readers and I'm excited for you guys watching the thyroid series because I know that this is gonna have a ripple effect down the line. With over 500,000 of you guys watching, I know that we're gonna see some amazing, amazing success stories coming out of this. In my Training in public health, um, I was trained by the U.S. government on how to spread change and innovation, which is sort of what I'm trying to do with the thyroid secret, if you haven't noticed, and with my books and my website and everything else, is change the way that thyroid disorders are treated. And it starts with patient demand. So all of you guys here, all of you guys commenting, all of you guys um, choosing to own the thyroid secret series, this is going to help us create practitioner programs, practitioner training. This is going to help me get um, this message out to mainstream media, to get this in magazines. The more you share this message, the more likely um, you know, the Today Show or The View or another show like that will be interested in this life-altering healing message. And you know what, when we change these trends, we start seeing that the medical model changes too. 
And um, recently, just yesterday, I got a message from the American Thyroid Association in my email, and I got the chills. It was the very first message of this sort, and it was asking patients what they thought of their treatments and if they were satisfied with their thyroid treatments. I have never seen this in my last um, you know, 15 years as a healthcare professional of, of, of this kind of interest from conventional medicine, from the medical establishment. Um, I've been contacted by pharmaceutical companies who are saying now pharmaceutical companies are more interested in the patient experience. So I really appreciate you guys being here commenting, sharing this on your timeline, supporting our mission to get this out into the world because together we're gonna create this change. We're gonna make sure that thyroid disorders are treated differently. It's gonna start with you. It's gonna start with you taking charge of your own health, requesting better care, and you know what? Going back to your endocrinologist, going back to your doctor and say, hey doc, guess what? I went gluten-free and I don't have thyroid antibodies anymore. What do you think of that, right? Well, imagine if a thousand of us showed up at our doctor's offices with these same results, they would have to listen. Things are, are gonna start changing. So, anywho, that was my little soapbox here. Really, if you guys can't tell, I'm really, really excited to be here. Um, let's see, Rachel says, can you talk about low iron? I've been tested for H. pylori and parasites and don't have them. My ferritin is at six. So um, one of the things you may wanna look at is your stomach acid. If you're not getting enough stomach acid, that could be a potential reason why your ferritin is low. I also recommend doing spe specific um, testing like the GI map or the 401H to determine if you have infections that are more accurate than some of the traditional testing. Another thing that can suppress ferritin levels could actually be toxicity. So mercury as well as copper um, and some other toxins can compete with um, with iron in the body, you know, their iron is a heavy metal by definition, right? And so copper and mercury, these are all metals. And so um, this is an important thing to keep in mind um, that you may want to get tested for that. We talk more about that in episode four. Um, Maria says that I understand you correctly. Epstein-Barr virus is the same as mononucleosis. Exactly, Maria. So and nice to see you here again. Um, Epstein-Barr virus is um, the virus that causes mono or mononucleosis or glandular fever in the rest of the English-speaking world. And this is something that can be found within our thyroid glands that can trigger thyroid disease, especially when it's actively replicating. There are protocols that can suppress the replication of this pathogen and can help people reduce their thyroid antibodies. So we have Dr. Shiroko Sokic, Dr. Nicholas Hedberg, and then um, Terry Cochran, as well as Dr. Jay Davidson, um, talk about some of the protocols for these stealth pathogens like Lyme disease and Epstein-Barr virus that can cause our own body to attack itself. Um, let's see here. Sandy says hi from Colorado. Hello, Sandy. Um, let's see here. Her granddaughter was tested and her TSH is 2.08. Um, her doctor doesn't want to do the thyroid antibodies test. Should I insist that they do one? Absolutely. So the thyroid antibodies can be elevated for 10 years before we see a change in TSH. And when you have elevated antibodies, you're going to have symptoms. You're going to be suffering. So I highly encourage that you get these antibody tests because that can prevent damage to your thyroid gland. That can prevent symptoms. That can prevent thyroid disease um, from manifesting and progressing. And ideally, you know, I would love for everybody to discover that they have thyroid disease in the early stages when their TSH is still at around a two um, or a three or maybe a four um, or even a one because at that point we know that there's not a lot of damage to the thyroid gland and in that case it's easier to prevent having to take thyroid hormones for life. We know that we can regenerate thyroid tissue but it happens at its own pace and it doesn't always happen in everybody. There are some protocols that I discussed in um, episode three that can help regenerate thyroid tissue like low-level laser therapy, but you know, these are about 50% about of people who utilize them can wean off of thyroid hormones, but not um, the other half do see a reduction in the need for thyroid hormones, but it's, so, but it's not cheap, right? And it's not available everywhere just yet. It should be, I hope that it is, and I'm doing um, everything in my power to make it available to you guys worldwide. Um, I even thought about starting a um, medical device company to, to have lasers specifically for um, the thyroid gland to get this out to you guys. Of course, um, I don't have a billion dollars, um, but 
And this is something that can be very, very helpful um, for you, but of course, preventing the damage is going to be much, much easier. Um, Christy, thanks so much for helping Susan out and letting her know that a lot of this helps with Graves' disease. Jessica says, thank you so much for the thyroid secret. Oh, I appreciate that. I'm literally using the information in this documentary on a daily basis with my patients. It's amazing. And I already pre-ordered Hashimoto's protocol. I can't wait. Thank you so much for the feedback, Jessica. I really, really appreciate it. So, um, and Jessica, thank you for being a practitioner in the know. So um, I know that this series has reached not just patients, but practitioners that are utilizing this information to further their knowledge and further their education and educate their patients as well so that we could all get on the same page and we could all start using these innovative therapies. Um, let's see here. What do you say about detoxing? Um, one of the helpful things that can su support detoxing is going to be, um, you know, cruciferous vegetables and supporting your liver with things like, um, with things like, like milk thistle that can be very, very helpful and turmeric. These are generally the safest places to start for most people. Um, Jennifer says, world changing, so inspiring. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Jill says, do we stay on Synthroid? Um, you know, Jill, if it's working for you, then all the more power to you. Not everybody feels their best, and at that point, natural desiccated thyroid hormones may be indicated, addition of T3 may be indicated, or um, doing a compound of T4, T3 medications may be indicated. Now, you'd want to find a practitioner that knows how to prescribe these medications. You don't want to work with a doctor that um, has never prescribed them. You don't want to be their first guinea pig. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me on this. Um, and so one of the ways to do this is to find your local compounding pharmacy and see if they have a list of practitioners for you. And um, that's, that's going to be a great start for you. And I also keep a practitioner list on thyroidpharmacist.com. If you guys um, go to thyroidpharmacist.com and slash gift, you can subscribe for the practitioner list there. Um, or for my email list, and we could send you the practitioner list. I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's 10 years ago and found great improvements with recent treatment of Lyme and autoimmune diet. Julia, thanks so much for sharing that. You know, you guys, this stuff does work, right? Um, my tests no longer show antibodies, but my thyroid levels are still off. Does that mean my thyroid has been totally ineffective? What does that mean for recovery? So thanks, Julia, so much for sharing your story. So one of the key things, this is the steps for recovering from thyroid disease. One is get your thyroid hormones optimized because every cell in your body depends on thyroid hormones, right? So you want to get that dialed in with natural desiccated thyroid, synthetic thyroid, um, T3, levothyroxine, synthroid, whatever it is that might work best for you. Cold laser therapy can also help with this as well. Some of the um, thytrophin PMG can be helpful for some people. So you get that. Get your thyroid hormones optimized so you don't have a lot of these thyroid symptoms. The other thing, the step two, very, very important, please don't skip this step, is figure out what's causing your thyroid condition and address the triggers. So for you, it was Lyme disease and nutrition. Get rid of that infection. Get rid of you know, your food sensitivities. And then at that point, you'll, be, you'll no longer be attacking your thyroid gland. So that's known as remission. Now, the third step is, um, you know, basically, if your thyroid gland has been under attack, for 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years, that may mean a significant portion of his damage. So you may still need to be on thyroid hormones. Um, and that may, you may need to be on them for long term. You may need to be, on, you know, if you've had a complete thyroidectomy, your entire thyroid gland removed, you're going to need to be on them forever. And it's key for you to optimize them. You may need to use a combination of T4 with natural desiccated thyroid or compounded T4, T3. You know, it varies. We have some advanced protocols in the gold package. Um, that share some of these protocols. Dr. Sarah Zielsdorf talk about, talks about this for um, thyroidectomy patients. Um, and if you haven't had a complete thyroidectomy, there is hope that your thyroid tissue can regenerate. It kind of seems to do it at its own pace, but there are protocols that can be helpful for that. So we discuss low-level laser therapy in episode three that can be life-changing. Um, and I also have some additional protocols in Hashimoto's protocol as well that can be helpful for that. So um, getting your adrenals in balance, um, making sure that you don't have any um, types of stress, um, trauma, traumatic stress in your life, that can be very, very helpful because that may um, 
put your body in kind of a fight or flight state where you're constantly breaking itself down and what you want is to have your body in a rest, digest, and heal state. So um, some of it is going to be rebalancing your stress response too to accelerate some of that healing. So um, I hope that helps and do, I do thank you for sharing that you've already had success. So it sounds like you're already finished step two and now for you it's step three and it's and, and maybe step one, maybe optimizing your thyroid hormones. And um, you know, be patient with yourself, be patient with your body. Um, you know, for every year that you've had this damage on your thyroid gland, it's gonna take some time for it to, for your body to regenerate, right? And, um, and there are things we could do to accelerate it too. And even if you do need to be on thyroid hormones long term, um, you know, don't consider that as a failure. I, I think we need to use every tool in the toolbox that's out there to help ourselves because so we could live our best lives, right? Um, Denise said, I'm taking my children to test for antibodies tomorrow myself since my doctor won't do it. I ordered them myself. Denise, congratulations to you. I really appreciate how you're taking charge and you're taking action. There are lab companies that will allow you to run your own tests. I'm so excited about this. Um, one of them is Alta Labs. Um, and one of the cool things about this company is in some cases, and it depends on your insurance, but they're able to submit it to insurance. Um, I have a link to Alta Labs under thyroidpharmacist.com and resources. I have a bunch of great resources for you guys on some things you can do um, and um, for, for testing yourself. And um, I also, this brings up um, prizes. So I am doing a contest for you guys, for people that support our mission. And I've asked some fabulous, fabulous um, companies and authors and experts to provide some resources for you guys. And um, for anybody that chooses to own the Thyroid Secret, whether the silver or the gold package, we have this opportunity to win some prizes because it's fun and um, helps us support you guys. And um, some of the prizes for today, um, some of the prizes we're going to have coming up, so whenever you order the series, you could enter in every single day that we give out prizes. And some of the prizes we're going to have are going to be self-order test options, and I'm going to be announcing those soon. Um, for today's prizes, I have, and you could enter in as many times, you know, every day you could enter in for the prizes. Um, so you don't have to like keep purchasing the package. So if you could have, you could have gotten it like a month ago or yesterday or today, and you could still submit, you know, tomorrow and the day after, whenever we give away prizes. So five signed copies of my New York Times bestselling book, Hashimoto's The Root Cause. Um, you guys, this was like, you know, a surprise bestseller. I put this book out there just to help people um, because I was sick and I wasn't getting better then I started guinea pigging myself and I started getting better and my mom said honey you need to get this information out there you need to write it up and we need to get a book out there and we're gonna I'm gonna translate my mom said my mom's a doctor from Poland she said I'm gonna translate it into Polish and we're gonna help your cousins right and I'm proud to say that as of two years ago um, last summer my cousins are now gluten-free as well and so um, and they've seen an, a reduction in their thyroid antibodies and improvement in symptoms across the board thanks to this book that um, is available um, on Amazon, of course, and it's also going to be given away um, five copies signed by me personally. And we also, it's also been translated into Polish, German, um, let's see here, a um, whole bunch of different um, countries have been reaching out to get it translated. So Spanish version is coming out, Bulgarian version is coming out, and we just got the Romanian version in. So that's going to be one of the prizes. And of course, a reminder, my New York Times, my, my upcoming book um, that's going to be coming out on March 28th is going to be given away in the gold package. Um, two full scholarships to my Hashimoto's self-management course that teaches you what you need to do to take back your health on your own and kind of reduce your dependency on the healthcare system. I first learned about self-management courses when I was working in public health, and um, there's one for diabetes that's been clinically tested and proven to improve patients' outcomes when they work with their practitioners and um, reduce their dependency on the healthcare system. And so I created one modeled after this for Hashimoto specifically. Um, an amazing, amazing book by Dana Trentini and Mary Shulman, two fabulous thyroid advocates um, your Healthy Pregnancy with Thyroid Disease. I am so grateful that they wrote this book. Um, I highly recommend it for anybody with um, a thyroid condition that's thinking about getting pregnant. 
And then five copies of Healing Your Body Naturally After Childbirth from Dr. Jolene Brighton. So she was in yesterday's episode. Um, Jolene specializes in helping patients, women take back their health after childbirth, so postpartum thyroid issues. And then five programs of the Hormone Revol Revolution Detox from Dr. Jolene Brighton. So estrogen dominance, any kind of hormone problems you might have caused by birth control pills or pregnancy, um, this is a program that can help you with that. So these are the fun prizes we're giving away. We have, um, oh, and then five copies of Dr. Tom O'Brien's autoimmune, autoimmune um, book as well. So we have 23 prizes over $2,300. And you can win these prizes if you submit your um, receipt through a link that you, were, you got this morning. Um, let's see, you guys. Um, Vicki says, I cannot afford it today, but next month is that possible? So, um, so just so you know, we have uh, the offer that's going to be 50% off. It's going to be extended until March 10th. Um, and then after that, the, um, the package will, will still be available, but then they'll be at a higher cost because um, we are able to get like a bulk discount during this time. But after that, you know, our costs go up for um, running the tech system and the tech team as well as for um, the printer of these heavy things, right? Kiona says, talk about adrenal fatigue and how to t heal the adrenals. So one of the best ways is to get plenty of sleep. So if you can go on a spa month where you sleep for 10 to 12 hours for a week, two weeks, a weekend, whatever it is, that's going to be a really great fast way to heal the adrenals. Another thing I recommend is the ABCs, adrenal adaptogens, B vitamins, and then vitamin C. That can be very helpful in getting your adrenals in balance. Um, I do have more strategies in Hashimoto's protocol. And then episode six, we covered that, um, how to heal the adrenals. Blood sugar balance is going to be key to that. Julia says, so helpful. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to hear that. Um, Mary says, my naturopath saw you in New York. So I watched your online when she was there. She has Hashimoto's and older than me at 64. Thanks for sharing that. Casey said, today I bought um, milk, thistle, selenium, and thiamine. Action taker award. That's amazing. Mary Lou says, can I get Hashimoto's protocol in bookstores or online? Um, so it's going to be coming out on March 28th, and um, it will be available in bookstores then, and then it's, it's on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble and sold online. Um, it is something that um, we're recommending um, for pre-order and you could get that through the gold package because um, our publisher mentioned that we may run out and not print enough copies. We're trying to get them to print enough copies, um, but this is something that, um, you know, we're, we're trying to make sure they have an accurate estimate for that because they, um, you know, I, we don't control the printing. So if you get it through the thyroid secret gold package, we'll be able to make sure we reserve your copy because then um, we'll be able to give them those numbers in time to get it printed because I, I don't exactly know how, how long it takes, but I think it's about two to three weeks to get um, books printed through a publisher. Um, you know, I wish it was immediate. <laughs> um, Mary Lou says, I'll probably get the silver package. Oh, great. So that's a really, really great package. You know, you could get that, you know, less than around $5 an episode, and this is going to be life changing. Susan says, I love that you're wanting to help everyone. Thank you. Uh, thanks so much for saying that. You know, this really is my life's mission is to help as many people as I can with thyroid disease because I, like, I don't know, it just kind of like gets me angry and worked up that like I was sick for so long and I wasn't, it's not like I wasn't trying. So I was exercising. I was eating whole wheat and low fat dairy. And I like, I mean, I was a pharmacist, like I was a healthcare professional and I was angry that I wasn't taught any of this in school. Um, and I was suffering. I had carpal tunnel in both arms. I wore these ridiculous arm braces. I was losing my hair, having panic attacks, horrible menstrual cramps. Um, just, you know, my life was a mess and I was falling apart in my 20s. And, um, you know, now I feel fit and calm and relaxed. Um, you know, I, I, don't ha I used to have trouble sleeping. Now I don't have any problems with that. I can wake up. I can do things I like. I have clarity of mind. And I want the same for you guys. And, you know, just like we're kind of, we're, I'm, you know, consider myself a bit of a rebel now and starting a revolution together with all of you guys. 
whenever I watch traditional media, it's frustrating for me because I see all these messages um, and all these things that are marketed to people that like don't work and and like all these strategies that I'm sharing with you guys in my books and the thyroid secret um, I learned in pharmacy school unfortunately that most of them didn't work I was told that natural desiccated thyroid hormones did not work very well I was told that most supplements were harmful and that's just not the case um, magnesium for example is one supplement that I was talking about this today um, that can completely eliminate menstrual cramps for 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 women and um, I had menstrual cramps from age like 16 until just a few years ago when I figured this out that like meant I had to stay home from work I had I couldn't go to class when I had menstrual cramps so first two days of my period I was in so much pain and I had to take all this you know Advil and all these other things and I had clients and patients who had horrible menstrual cramps and you could just take magnesium for that and there's like anxiety you could take selenium and thyroid disease can be reversed it's like holy cow so anyway um, thanks for saying that you got me started um, Jennifer wants to know what's laser therapy so the low-level laser therapy is something that can be done um, over the thyroid gland I can help reduce thyroid antibodies reduce the damage to the thyroid gland help regenerate thyroid tissue lower your dosage of thyroid hormones and in some cases if your thyroid is enlarged it can help normalize it if your thyroid is shrunken they also see normalization on that this has been done in Brazil so this has been um, it's being done right now in endocrinology clinics in Brazil but it's not being done in the US so I want to get this message out and we're we're, we're doing what we can so we're um, I've just been talking to a lot of doctors and I'm convincing some of them to actually carry that in their office so I hope that you guys see it more often um, in the meantime you know you want to work with somebody that that knows what they're doing again and this is going to be low-level laser therapy Kaya says I like to have your books in Swedish oh thanks so much for saying that and, and um, Nicole says translate in French so if you guys could get in touch with the publisher um, and then they can get in touch with my um, my book agents and that then they can get the the process going so um, the more interest we have in those countries um, you know the more we can make it happen so I know I've been getting a lot of messages from various countries and it's really really exciting to see that there's a need for this information Susanna is it possible to get in Australia so Susanna we're getting um, we're shipping the entire gold package to Australia so you can get that physical and you could get a digital version of it um, as well right away because shipping to Australia is going to take us a little bit longer than it will to you know um, Illinois where our shipping center is located um, and you can get the um, Hashimoto's books they are available in Australia um, Amazon as well um, you can pre-order that people want to know how do you get the scholarship and how do you submit for the prizes so we sent an email out this morning um, that you can um, where you can submit your information um, to win the prizes where you would submit your um, you would submit your um, your name your email your receipt number as well as which prize you're hoping for and then that will give you that will um, we'll be picking out prizes later on tonight and giving them away um, tomorrow morning so um, let me see here we um, if you can check your email and go back to the email that was sent out this morning this will have access to that Carla says can swollen tongue go away yes it can Jennifer says thank you for all you do um, you're so welcome it's my it's my life's work and it's a pleasure um, it means a lot that you're you're saying it too because um, between uh, me and all of you guys watching it has been a bit of a trying experience for um, for me and my husband because um, you know there were days where we really could talk to each other the whole days because we were trying to get this um, world premiere out and then the um, sneak peek out and there was a lot of long nights and a lot of editing um, a lot of trying to get this series getting together um, my husband was managing the whole big team and um, you know there, there has been some tries it has been some tribulations um, I did travel for about six months to record the series and um, I didn't get to see quite as much of my husband as I would like to and um, 
Yeah, it, it's it's been it it has taken a lot of um, of our effort, and um, we had to dip into our savings to create this series. Um, at the same time, we feel like it's completely worth it because we're getting this life saving information to as many people as possible. And um, I really love the model where um, everything is free online for nine days, so that anybody can watch whether you have um, low income, you're a student or retired and on a limited budget, you can watch for free. Generally, you know, if you have limited budget, you probably, um, I don't want to make assumptions, but you generally are going to have a little bit more time. And then people who are able to support the mission and support the series can purchase the series and, um, you know, perhaps they have less time and more responsibilities. Um, and that way it, it's a wonderful mission that helps us create the series and helps us pay our team and get you know get um, this big big message out there to as many people as possible and help as many change as many lives as possible um, otherwise you know the traditional approach would have been going through crazy funding and you know documentaries cost on average of three hundred thousand to five hundred thousand dollars to put together um, and you know a long time so I, I was doing this project for the last year and it didn't do it alone we had a fantastic team on board um, that, um, you know, like high, high level people that have helped us create this from editors to producers to videographers. And so, um, thank you so much for supporting this mission. Thank you for being here. Thank you for spreading awareness about it. And, um, really appreciate you guys who, um, who choose to own this series because it really helps us get the message out there. And of course it gives you the opportunity, most importantly, to own something of value to your own health, um, rather than, you know, creating a fundraiser for something else for something we created something that can be very very helpful for you to take action and help you recover your health um, and you know this the proof is in the pudding so this is like the ultimate encyclopedia of what you need to do to take back your health and um, thank you so much for being here and for all of your support and all of your kind words um, I'm gonna get running pretty soon because I've gone a little bit over time here um, looks like um, I'd like to answer just a couple more questions. Um, let's see here. Which B vitamin do you recommend? So B complex from pure encapsulations, thiamine 600 milligrams, and then biotin is oftentimes good to get as a standalone. So about 5,000 micrograms. And then oftentimes B12 methylcobalamin may be helpful to get as a standalone if you test low for it. Melissa, from the time I started menstrual cycles, first three days were vomiting and diarrhea every month. Um, yeah, so this could be something that you could dial in with proper nutrition. Um, since T3 is what our bodies ultimately need, why do we take T4, T3 combo? So um, T3 is very short acting. It's only, it has a very short half-life, which um, pharmacologists speak as basically, it gets in your body quickly and escapes quickly. And so um, you would have to dose it multiple times a day, and you could have um, what we call um, peaks and troughs in pharmacology, where you have unstable levels, and you would be like, you know, it could kind of put you on a roller coaster of thyroid hormones, where T4 is slow acting, it has a long half life, and so you have like kind of a slow conversion, and you constantly have something in your system. So, really, um, our body actually does rely on both, and then um, T4, T3, T1, and T2 are thyroid hormones. And in some cases, people may benefit from all four of them. Um, so we know specifically the roles of T4 and T3. We're not quite sure about the roles of T1, but there are some research supporting the roles of T2. And these can oftentimes be found in natural desiccated thyroid. Um, let's see here. Melissa says, I'm glad to get my package soon. So. Um, once you guys are going to be placing your orders, we'll be getting that out. Um, and then for anybody that placed their orders back in um, January during the sneak peek, um, those orders are starting to ship. So if you do get your package, well, I would love it if you sent a um, picture on social media and posted it, letting us know that you got it. Because I know these are going to be coming really, really soon. Um, maybe you could do some exercises with the Thyroid Secret Encyclopedia, right? So um, Jennifer wants to know about scalloped tongue. This can be a potential symptom of thyroid disease um, and it can resolve once you get that. Amy says, thank you for all the hard work putting this together. Oh, thank you so much for saying that. Um, 
Uh oh, it looks like I'm starting to freeze up on here. Maria says, you, Isabella rocks. Thank you so much, Maria. You rock. Thank you for being here, taking time for taking back your health. Very, very proud of you guys, action takers. Really, really proud of you. Um, Mary Lou says, so glad you're in my life. God is good. I agree, Mary Lou. It's so great to be here. Um, Heather says, so eye-opening and helpful. I appreciate that. Julie says, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. I really, really love and appreciate hanging out with you. Um, tomorrow night, um, you know, I, I hope that tonight you check out the episode eight. Make sure you watch it. Get a notebook. Take some notes. Um, tomorrow we're going to be airing episode nine. So it's um, thyroid patient success stories. So they share some of the strategies that work for them. Some of them are kind of unconventional. I, I think you'll really, really enjoy that. And they share kind of mindset and what was best practices um, for them. Um, and I, I think you guys will really, really enjoy hearing their stories of people just like you who are able to recover. And um, then we're also going to be offering the discounted packages until the end of March 10th at midnight um, Eastern time. I, I'm, balancing all these time zones and so be sure to take advantage if you want to own the thyroid secret make sure you take advantage and then if you you know for some reason you get it and you look at the digital content so everybody that gets um, you know the packages sent to their home will get immediate um, digital content as well if you look at it you check it out you, you just don't like it which um, we actually haven't had anybody do that yet <laughs> um, then just let us know and we, we're happy to give you a full refund um, the only times we've we've had to give people refunds is when they got the silver package and they're like, oh, I meant to get the gold package. So I think you guys will really, really enjoy it. The information in there is life-saving. It's taken us over a, you know, over a year now to get this out to you. And I'm very, very proud of how it's turned out. Um, anywho, I hope that you guys have a wonderful night. Tomorrow night will be my last Facebook Live for the Thyroid Secret Series with you guys. So um, I'll be coming on around um, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. And I hope to see you guys. Um, make sure that you, um, you know, if you, if you have any more questions for me, I'd love to hang out with you and, and chat with you tomorrow night. So thank you so much um, and looking forward to seeing you. And then Jennifer wants to know how was last night's book signing. J.P. Sears did a rock star book signing job. He was really, really great, very, very funny. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoy that. His, his new book about being ultra spiritual just came out if you guys are looking for a good laugh. It's hilarious. I do have a copy of it. Um, and thank you so much, you guys. So I hope that you'll tune into episode eight and then um, I'll see you on Facebook tomorrow night. Alrighty.